Design of singly reinforced T-beam. A T-beam has the following properties. B sub F or base of flange is equal to 820 mm. B sub W or base of web is equal to 250 mm. Effective depth is equal to 470 mm. TF or thickness of flange is equal to 100 mm. Concrete compressive strength is 20.70 MPa and steel yield strength is 414 MPa. The term mean the required steel area if the moment dead is equal to 150 kN and moment light is equal to 120 kN. Since merong given na moment dead at moment light sa problem, kunin natin muna yung ultimate moment capacity ng section using the load combination factor. MU or ultimate moment capacity is equal to 1.2 moment dead plus 1.6 moment light. Then the value of the ultimate moment capacity of the section is equal to 372 kN. Yung solution na gagawin natin sa T-beam ay almost same lang ng solution na ginawa natin sa non-rectangular beams. Since T-beam is also a non-rectangular beam. Step number 1. Solve for the maximum moment capacity or MU max. Again, ano-anong parameters ba ang alam natin under maximum moment condition? At maximum condition, the value of strain of steel is equal to 0.04, C max is equal to 3 over 7 V, FS is equal to 800 megapascal, at ang formula ng reduction factor na gagamitin natin is 0.65 plus 0.25 F sub S minus FY over 1000 minus FY. Using the formula for C max is equal to 3 over 7 D, and the value of effective depth is equal to 470 mm, then ang makukuha nating answer ng C max is equal to 201.429 mm. Para naman makuha yung value ng A max, equal to beta 1 C max. Since the value of F prime C is equal to 20.70 MPa, magpopol tayo sa kategory na to. Kaya ang gagamitin natin ng value ng beta 1 is equal to 0.85. Then the value of A max is equal to 171.215 mm. Since mas malaki yung value ng A na nakuha natin compared sa thickness ng flange na 100 mm, therefore, magpopol yung A sa web ng T-beam. Hatiin natin sa area 1 at area 2 yung part ng T-beam na under compression. Idrinawin ko lang yung stress diagram ng T-beam which is ginawa na natin sa mga naunang problem. C1 is the compressive force at area 1. Y1 is the distance from C1 hanggang sa centroid ng steel bars. At kapag minomet natin yung C1 sa axis ng T, ang moment na maproproduce ay MN1. C2 is the compressive force at area 2. And Y2 is the distance from C2 hanggang sa centroid ng steel bars. At kapag minomet natin yung C2 sa axis ng T, ang moment na maproproduce ay MN2. Para makuha yung value ng C or yung depth ng area 2, equal lang siya sa A max minus 100. Then the value of C is equal to 71.215 mm. Isolve naman natin yung area ng 1 and 2. Area 1 is equal to 820 multiplied by 100. Area 2 is equal to 250 multiplied by 71.215. Then the value of AC1 is equal to area 1 equal to 82,000 mm squared. And the value of AC2, 17,803.75 mm squared. Solving for the value of Y1 and Y2, Y1 is equal to effective depth 470 minus this distance 100 over 2. Then Y1 is equal to 420 mm. Y2 is equal to effective depth 470 minus 100 minus this distance 71.215 over 2. Then the value of Y2 is equal to 334.3925 mm. After natin isolve yung value ng C1, C2, Y1, and Y2, masosolve na natin ngayon yung value ng MN1 at MN2. MN1 is equal to C1 times Y1, and MN2 is equal to C2 times Y2. MN1 is equal to C1 times Y1, where C1 is equal to 0.85 F prime C AC1. 0.85, F'C 20.70, AC1 is equal to 82,000 mm squared, 
and Y1 is equal to 420 millimeter. MN1 is equal to 605.97 kilonewton meter. MN2 is equal to C2 times Y2. C2 is equal to 0 0.85 F prime C AC2. 0 0.85 F prime C 20.70. AC2 is equal to 17,803.75. And Y2 is equal to 334.3925. Then the value of MN2 is equal to 104.75 kilonewton meter. Solving for the value of MN max or the maximum nominal moment capacity is equal to MN1 plus MN2. Then the value of MN max is equal to 710.72 kilonewton meter. Using the formula, MU max is equal to reduction factor MN max. Pero wala pa tayong value ng reduction factor, kaya kukunin natin muna. Using the formula of reduction factor for transition region, Reduction factor is 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25. Fs is equal to 800 megapascal minus Fy 414 megapascal over 1000 minus Fy. Then the value of reduction factor is equal to 0 0.8147. Mu max is equal to reduction factor 0 0.8147 multiplied by the value of Mn max 710.72 kilonewton meter. Then the value of MU max is equal to 579.02 kilonewton meter. Yung value ng MU capacity para sa section na to is 372 kilonewton meter. Sis mas mababa yung MU capacity sa MU maximum na nakuha natin, therefore i-design natin yung beam natin as singly reinforced. Step number 2. Solve for the moment capacity of the beam when tension controlled. Ang notation na gamit ko doon is MUTC. Again, ano-ano ba yung mga parameters na alam natin at tension controlled condition? When the beam is tension controlled, the value of strain of steel is 0 0.05, C at tension controlled is equal to 38D, and the value of reduction factor is 0 0.90. Using the formula of C is equal to 3 over 8D, and the value of effective depth is 470 millimeters. Then the value of C when tension controlled is 176.25 mm. Next, ay isolve naman natin yung value ng A when tension controlled. Equal pa din siya sa formula na beta 1C. Nakuha na natin kanina yung value ng beta 1 which is equal to 0 0.85 and the value of A when tension controlled is 149.81 mm. Since mas malaki pa rin yung value ng A when tension controlled, Compared sa thickness ng plunge, which is 100 mm, kaya yung A ay magpopol sa web ng T-beam. Hatiin lang natin ulit sa area 1 at area 2, yung area ng T-beam under compression. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung C1 at yung value ng MN1 ay nakuha na natin sa step 1. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung C1 ay equal lang din sa compressive force ng plunge ng T-beam. So pwede natin i-denote na C1 is equal to CF and MN1 is also equal to the nominal moment of the plunge. Kaya pwede din natin i-denote na MN1 is equal to MNF. Sa step 1 na ginawa natin, nakuha na yung value ng MN1, which is equal to 605.97 kNm. Ang kukunin na lang natin ay yung value ng MN2, or yung value ng nominal moment ng web ng T-beam. Solving for the value of area 2 is equal to 250 multiplied by 49.81. And the value of area 2 is equal to 12,452.50 mm squared. Para naman makuha yung value ng y2 equal to 470 minus this distance 100 and minus this distance equal to 49.81 over 2. Then the value of y2 is equal to 345.095 mm. Mn2 is equal to C2 times y2. C2 is equal to 0 0.85 F prime C AC2. 0 0.85 F prime C 20.70. AC2 is equal to 12,452.50. Y2 is 345.095 mm. And the value of MN2 is equal to 75.61 kilonewton meter. Para makuha yung total value ng nominal moment when tension controlled, equal lang siya sa MN1 plus MN2. MN1 is 605.97 plus MN2 
Then the value of Mn when tension controlled is 681.58 kN. Para makuha yung ultimate moment capacity when tension controlled, equal lang siya sa reduction factor MNTC. Reduction factor when tension controlled is 0.90 multiplied by 681.58. Therefore, the ultimate moment capacity when tension controlled is 613.422 kN. Since yung moment capacity ng beam is 372 kN, is less than sa value ng MUTC na 613.422, kaya yung section natin is under tension control. At ang gagamitin natin na value ng reduction factor is 0.90. Step number 3, solve for the moment capacity of the plunge. I-denote natin yung moment niya as MUF. Sinabi ko kanina na yung value ng MN1 is equal lang din sa nominal moment ng plunge, which is 605.97 kN. Using the formula, MUF is equal to reduction factor MNF, kailangan natin kunin yung value ng reduction factor na gagamitin natin when the value of A is equal to the thickness of plunge. Since yung plunge lang ang ina-analyze natin, therefore, the value of A is equal to the thickness of plunge, 100 mm. A is equal to 100 mm. Using the formula, A is equal to beta 1C, makukuha natin kung ano yung value ng C. A is 100 mm. Beta 1 is 0.85. Ang known value is C. At ang value ng C is 117.65 mm. Kunin natin yung value ng FS para maklasify as to compression, tension controlled, or in transition region when the value of A is 100 mm. Using the formula, FS is equal to 600 D minus C over C. By performing the stress check, yung value ng FS na nakuha natin is greater than 1000 MPa. Therefore, ang classification ng section is tension controlled. Kaya ang gagamitin natin value ng reduction factor is 0.90. Actually, kahit hindi mo na ito gawin. Kasi kanina, na-solve natin yung value ng A when tension controlled. And when the value of A is less than the value of A when tension controlled, lahat ng section na yun is under tension control. Using this formula, meron na tayong value ng reduction factor at MNF. Reduction factor 0.90, MNF 605.97, Therefore, the ultimate moment capacity of the plunge is 545.373 kN. Bakit natin kinukuha yung ultimate moment capacity ng plunge? Kung ang ultimate moment capacity na kailangan i-carry ng beam is less than sa ultimate moment capacity na kaya i-carry ng plunge, ibig sabihin sobra-sobra yung capacity ng plunge. Kaya yung actual value ng A is less than sa thickness ng plunge. At kapag naman mas malaki yung ultimate moment capacity na kailangan i-carry ng beam, dun sa ultimate moment capacity na kaya lang i-carry ng plunge, ibig sabihin kailangan pa na additional compressive force na kukunin naman sa web ng T-beam. Therefore, the actual value of A is greater than TF. Para sa problem na to, since the value of MU is 372 kN, and less than the value of the ultimate moment capacity of the plunge na 545.373 kN, therefore, the actual value of A is less than the thickness of the plunge. Ito ngayon yung summary na nakuha natin from step 1 to step 3. Sa step 1, the value of MU is less than MU max, kaya i-design natin yung beam as singly reinforced. Sa step 2, yung value ng MU is less than the value of MUTC. Therefore, i-design natin yung beam as tension controlled. Kaya yung gagamitin na value ng reduction factor is 0.90. Sa step 3, yung value ng MU is less than the value of MUF. Therefore, the value of A is less than the thickness of plunge. Using the formula, MU is equal to reduction factor multiplied by C, multiplied by D minus A over 2, at yung value ng MU na gagamitin natin is yung actual moment capacity na kailangan i-carry ng beam which is 372 kN. MU is equal to 372 times 10 to the 6 para maging newton millimeter. Reduction factor 0.90. Ito yun. Naprove natin siya sa step 2. The value of C is equal to 0.85. F prime C 20.70. A unknown times B. 820 kasi ito yung under compression multiplied by D470 minus A over 2 at ang value lang na unknown sa equation na to is yung value ng A
Using ship's salt para mas mabilis yung computation, the value of A is 65.52 mm. By applying summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, C is equal to T. C is equal to 0.85 F'C area ng concrete, then T is equal to ASFY. Since under tension control, kaya yielded na yung bakal. 0.85 F'C 20.70 the value of area of concrete is equal to 820 multiplied by A at ang value ng A is 65.52 mm equal to AS unknown multiplied by FY 414 megapascal at ang value ng AS is 2,283.372 mm squared Pero kailangan muna natin i-check yung value ng AS sa AS minimum. The value of AS minimum shall be the greater value between 1.4 over Fy BWD and square root of F prime C over 4 Fy BWD wherein BW shall be the lesser value between 2BW and BF. 2BW is equal to 500 kasi yung value ng BW is 250. Then the value of BF is 800. At ang sabi sa code, yung value daw ng BW na mag-govern is yung mas mababa which is 500 mm. Solving for the value of AS mean, dalawang value yung makukuha natin. At ang sabi sa code, yung value ng AS mean na mag-govern is yung mas malaki. Kaya yung magiging value ng AS mean natin is yung 794.69 mm squared. Since yung value ng AS na nakompute natin is greater than sa AS minimum na stated sa code, kaya ang i-adapt natin na value ng AS, yung AS pa rin na nakompute natin which is 2,283.372 mm squared. If ever na mas mababa yung value ng AS na nakompute natin sa AS minimum, ang value ng AS na gagamitin natin is yung value ng AS minimum.